June is a very important month. On June 25th, we all are going to celebrate the birthday of our dear friend and beloved Anthony Bourdain. And June 25th. In Spanish, this is uh, on June 25th, we are celebrating Anthony Bourdain's birthday. And we want all of you to celebrate yes. Tony's life. By cheering to Tony anywhere you want, with anyone you want, and we will be using the hashtag Bourdain Day and cheer to Anthony. Cheer to you, Anthony. In Spanish, this is hashtag Bourdain Day. Okay, in case you don't understand French. So, let's celebrate his life. Yes. Cheers. Happy birthday, Cheers. Tony. Happy birthday, Tony. That was for Tony. <laughs> we are always better. <laughs> for Tony. But I Cheers. <laughs> Eric and Jose, thank you for just carrying out Anthony's legacy and for creating this hashtag so more and more people can live his legacy and experience it just as he would want us to. Yeah, most definitely. When you think of uh, friendship, you uh, really could not find two greater friends that he could have had. They uh, cared about him in such a way that just, this was just, they had a love that was just everlasting and he was extremely lucky to have the both of them. They were uh, special, special people for him just through just being, just like researching him daily. You just kind of know that he loved them so much, the both of them, that they should definitely just feel just extreme joy because he definitely like um just now cared about them above all others so so Here's let's that. lift our glasses let's drink all right oh you're still drinking if we celebrate anthony bourdain on his birthday hashtag Bourdain Day. So do a video of his favorite drink, the Negroni. Go to one of his restaurants. It was featured on his show. Uh, read a book. There's all kinds of stuff. Let me do this first. So one of my business partners made this. Well, a collaborative partner. So cheers and celebrate Anthony Bourdain on Bourdain Day. So here's some ideas. Plan a trip. Volunteer your time. Support a mom and pop restaurant, binge Bourdain on TV, and read a Bourdain book. Guys, take it away. How are you going to celebrate? Mary? Okay. Well, I'm definitely going to celebrate with a Negroni, and we'll probably make one of his famous recipes, but I love um, the idea of supporting a local shop as well, so I'll probably try to find a great, one of my favorite local restaurants here to go and support in his honor. So I'll kind of go what I'm going to do on Saturday. I'm going to go to Alvera Street. It's the oldest street in LA. I think it's even the oldest street in California. And so it's a little community like you're in downtown Mexico City or Cabo mm -hmm. and all these different vendors. You could actually go to my podcast at Where's Sydney Now where you could actually check out my National Taco Day event. Taco and so I'm going to Salito Lindo which is the best taquito on the planet and one of Anthony Bourdain's favorites. So how about you, Danny? Yeah, I'm definitely throwing around still. So here we are Wednesday, but I have a bunch of different things that are possible because I've got a lot of um, just telephone calls out where I'm throwing around a couple of things. Like I was telling Mary um, about an hour ago, my plan is going to definitely try to go to one of his spots that he stopped at here in Boston. That's a incredible seafood restaurant that just he absolutely loved and was part of the 2011 show that he did with no reservations. Mm -hmm. Then I'm hoping to possibly 
though it's going to be difficult because it's a two-hour drive just now to make my way down to Provincetown, where he got his start back in 1972. And I'm going to try to hit the lobster pot, which was one of his absolute favorites. Then I'm going to try to go to um, just now the Spiritus Pizza, which is one of his good friend's pizza place that before they moved, they've now moved to another location, but the first location he was known basically when he didn't have anywhere to sleep, he would stay in the pizza joint and, and um, just definitely looking forward just to try to hit those two spots. Now he started of course with the flagship restaurant where he was a dishwasher but unfortunately the flagship is no longer so the two that i'm going to try to hit are going to be those two 